What up, it's your boy Darth Ray again with another video, and today we're here with Hunter x Hunter episode 131. Last episode was heartbreaking. We saw Gon break down and crying because he's just now realized that you can't bring Kite back, um, who we have talked about as uh, Gon's, um, at, at the moment, only father figure, and probably... His, yeah, his only father figure, father figure he's ever experienced. Um, because to be honest with you, uh, what's his dad's name? Uh, fucking whatever his dad's name, I forget. We haven't talked about him in forever, but uh, his dad isn't a great one. Um, so Kite was the closest thing, and losing him is a huge, a huge hit to Gon's like not just his emotions, but his psyche. Um, he's not doing well emotionally or um, mentally, and it seems like Kite is just revving themselves up to fight Gon uh, now that he's fixing, um, uh, now that they're fixing, you know, their arm, and that, listen, with the mental state that Gon is in right now, that's not a good idea for P2, that might be what kills them, um, so just because going on the floor crying right now does not mean uh, that he is defenseless. As we talked about in the last episode, the doubt, the sadness, the sorrow is only a prelude to the anger, the blame, and the rage. So let's see what let's see what happens. <laughs> If you haven't already, subscribe, like, comment, all the other stuff. If you're just a lurker, I appreciate you too. If you have any requests, whether it be more uh, Hunter Hunter or something totally different, the best place in that in, it's always my social media link's going to be in the description below. And if you want these episodes early, you can subscribe to my Patreon. Link's going to be in the description for that as well. Uh, we also have a Discord if you want to talk more Hunter Hunter or anything else that we're watching on the channel. So, with all that being said, let's get our headphones. Make sure they're on. Them bitches is on. And let's just get into it. In three, two, one, go. That was a really good idea. The whole ch um, change your voice to Komugi. That was a great idea. Nigga thought he was safe though. I ain't forgot how scary Gon looked in, in that in that castle. You ain't safe. You are not safe. Whew. That nigga dead. Jesus Christ. Mm. Mm -hmm. God, I feel I feel horrible for him. I feel horrible for him. I feel horrible for him. Yep. Yep. The only reason he hasn't swung on on P two is because he's like, well, shit. P two got gotta help him. He got he got to bring him back. Uh, as soon as as soon as P two goes on the offensive, it's it's game over, bro. I'm sorry. Like I said, I haven't forgotten how scary going was in that in that castle. Yeah, P2 is like one of the strongest things that we've seen in this show so far. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm going to keep it real with you. I don't give a fuck. That that nigga ain't. 
That nigga ain't hearing none of that shit. He ain't moved. He is not moved. This is the same little boy that said, I'll kill that little girl if you if you stop me again. Like, I, I listen. That's some chimera ant shit. <laughs> I'm, I am not I am not here to doubt Gone. I haven't doubted Gone since the beginning of this show. I am surely, surely not going to doubt Gone here. Sorry. That I like, should I be like, should there, are there people watching this video right now going, nah, you, you just saying you ain't really no P2 for real. Like you don't know how strong they are for real. Like you, you, you tripping. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'll believe when I see it. I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm sorry. That nigga going to demon right now. Anger in the light. Oh. Oh no. Okay, yeah, go. Go right now. Go right now. Take the girl. Go right now. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is a good way to get to, yeah. Yeah, the way to you. Hey, I won't. Whoa, whoa, there. <sighs> you really think this checkmate, huh? Pussy ass nigga? Who the fuck you thought you was? Fuck going on. Fuck ass nigga. Hell going on. Go save your friend. Go save your friend right now. Let's go. That's my dog right there. Oh, speed of lightning. Jesus Christ. Hurry the fuck up, too. I need you to go at the speed of light, nigga. Oh, man. This ain't good. Oh man, here we go. Don't do this to yourself, bro. Don't do this to yourself. Don't do this to yourself. I'm telling you right now. I've listened. Okay. Hey, I respect you. I respect your loyalty to the king, but that's about to get your dumb ass killed. Let me turn this up. Hold on. What's going on? Hold on. This music kind of. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He about to swing on you, bro. Oh, what do I care? His, P2 can die. Fuck going on? Oh, this opera. What the fuck? What the fuck? This isn't P2's fucking aura. Oh, my God. Oh shit. Oh, what is this? What is this? I'm gonna take my fucking shoes off. I gotta sit up. This fucking track, nigga. Oh no. You're dead. Oh, you're anybody that advocated for P2's fucking W here is a fucking moron. Holy shit. What the fuck is going on?
What the fuck? I'm going, you scary, bro. Oh, the darkness has consumed this nigga. What? He's condensing. It's like it's like what's his name say? He's condensing all of his his power and just letting it all out. Oh shit! Oh, this fucking track is crazy. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh my. Oh shit! What the fuck? What is that aura? That shit is not. That nigga's aura is made out of crayon. What is going on? What the fuck is that? That ain't gone. Nigga, what is that? That is not gone. That is not gone. What is that? Oh my god. You better fucking run. If you want to live. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. <gasps> Nigga, you scary as fuck! What? That nigga isn't- He don't even fit in the anime anymore. Nigga, don't- Don't even try none of that. That's not gonna help you. Fuck all that. Boy, fuck all that. I don't know who you think you are. That nigga is, doesn't even fit in the fucking anime we're watching here. Man, fuck all that, nigga. Who you think you are? You thought you were somebody. Oh, my God, he's fast. Oh, this fucking track is incredible. Oh, fuck, man. What is that? This nigga is... He aged? Nah, that nigga just got taller. Oh, he buff, nigga. Oh, he aged. What the fuck? He literally grew up. Oh. Don't fight him. Listen, I don't like you, but don't fight him. I hope you die, but don't fight him. Oh. Don't fight that nigga. He, he, oh, don't fight that nigga. Do not fight that. Holy shit. Holy shit. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? that he, did, he didn't even look like he was a part of this anime anymore. And you just about to willingly fought, like, that's, that's what you, I respect that. I respect that, that you about to go willingly go die. Cause he about to, he about to stomp you into a fine, look at him. He's handsome now. What's going on? Bro. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. That nigga sped up his own maturation point. Oh my god. This is it. You're dead.
And if he can keep this up long enough, a bunch of other people are too. Don't you, don't even try that, nigga. What are you doing? What, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Come on now. Don't do that. Don't, come on. Come on now. 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 Bitch ass nigga, who you thought this was? Man, swing on her. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bitch! Feel that! Ooh! Ooh! Bitch to the moon! Tell Elon I said what's good! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh! That nigga summoning the sun! Oh! Oh my god! Nick! Is that L'Oreal? Nigga, what? Bro! She he can't even breathe, bitch! He about to do it to you! See ya! Bitch, oh my god! <laughs> that shit gotta hurt! Oh, your shit is broke! Oh, your shit is gone. Oh, my God. Damn. Oh, my God. Damn. Oh, my. oh shit. Oh shit. He literally is using up everything. Oh fuck. Oh my god. He's going to have to climb back up from this. Holy shit. Oh my god. Good fucking lord. Um, killer, maybe don't. I don't even know if this is... I. Damn. Oh, he's just swinging on her dumb sh- Oh. Bro. Holy shit. Bink. Oh, he just binking her shit. Oh my god. Holy shit. He's just using it over and over again. Oh my god.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, he it's a rap for gone. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Jesus Christ. His fucking arm. This scene is incredible. Yeah, the death nin. Holy shit. Wow. Oh, this is fucking insane. This kite. Oh, pussy. Fuck, dude. Whoa, no way he's about to use that as a lance. Oh, my God. <laughs> What the fuck? Holy shit. Oh my fucking god! Oh fuck!
Eight. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Um, uh, what do I say? It, it, it happened exactly as I, as, pretty much exactly as I, as I said it would. First comes the sorrow, then comes the, the anger, and then you hurt yourself in the process. And even though you grow up, the kind of person that you become is not great. And that's what hurts yourself in the process. I, I don't know what I can say that won't be beating a dead horse from the last discussion. And I'm going to try not to. Dear God, let's start off with this. The scene of of going transforming into whatever the fuck that was. Was scarier than any ant that we have seen since the beginning of this arc scarier than poof scarier than than Yupi, scarier than ne uh, than than uh Neferpedu, scarier than Merum, scarier than Netero, scarier than than gone or not gone kill was light speed light whatever god god speed scarier than 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 anything that we have seen thus far not just in this arc in general in this show that is the scariest thing that we have seen that thing did not even look like it belonged in this show it looked like it was drawn with crayon and 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 charcoal that was so well done so fucking well done. That entire the music, the animation, the intensity, the the anticipation, everything was so well done. And the beauty of of, of what happened here, not maybe not the beauty of it, but like from a from a storytelling character character developing standpoint. The beauty of it is that it, it introduced a third option, which I probably should have talked about in, in the last discussion, but I'll talk about it now, right? So we'll jump off from where we started, right? Is that the cycle is that you, is that there is sorrow and then there is hatred. Now, what I didn't talk about in that discussion is what you do with it. And in a lot of and in a lot of ways, when you get when you give into when you give into anger and rage from a from a strong hatred, it becomes ambivalence. And that is stronger and that is worse than any type of anger or hatred that you could ever have because it, 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 it can't be reasoned with. It cannot be reasoned with. It can't it can't be talked down. It, it, it can't be it can't be quelled or anything like that it's it is it is not caring about the the obstacle in front of you or yourself as well that is what we saw here the ambivalence of saying fuck it 
if you want it and, and here here's the thing we have this isn't this isn't the first time even in the last couple of episodes that we've seen this the last place that we have seen this is when Netero blew himself up with a goddamn nuke the ability to say fuck it we're both dying then is the scariest thing in the world because when something becomes ambivalent as a bomb because that was a scary thing that was i think we talked about in in that episode is that the scary thing about the the poor man the poor man's rose or just nukes or or wmds in general is that they don't care they just don't care they, they're they're it's they don't just destroy the target they destroy everything it's it's ambivalent it it's not it, it doesn't care it doesn't it doesn't it's not it's indiscriminate and it's crazy that the only thing that i can compare going to in this moment was a fucking nuke even the show seem, seems to compare itself to this nuke by having by having the same by in in a lot of ways having this same type of uh animation um it wasn't like you know beat for beat bar for bar the same animation but it was very close to they were very close to each other when netero used the rose it it the the aura almost looked the same the intent was the same you know the the result was the same the same as when gone decided to say fuck it and matured himself to a point in which he could defeat not just neferpedo as never people say um that nigga was strong enough to kill the king at that point now whether they mean like what well, granted they never people probably means the king before the bomb and and him having his little glow up but regardless at a at this moment gone was strong enough to kill the king so yeah it, it was the exact same as the bomb unfeeling uncaring dark aura that that resembles the the uncaring of, of of the threat of its impending doom and even ended off in just a huge fucking explosion that was some crazy shit that was some crazy shit i i like i'm i'm sorry i i have to like talk about this fuck I, that that fuck that the animation on 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 gone's transformation when it was just like black and white and shit and that that was just incredible that was so fucking incredible like ha, like he dead ass looked like the like the monster that we were uh, that at least i was afraid that he would become every time anybody said anything about like wow gone's really he's a really good guy but he's almost too good of a guy i'm like oh shit that's not good like that's never a good thing good guys aren't a good thing people that are solely just like i'll bring it back for the for the very last time i know i've said it like seventy thousand times but i'll bring it back again the brighter the the brighter and and shinier that of a light that you radiate all that means is that you cast a bigger shadow it don't mean nothing else you know like yeah being a, a a good person all that other stuff that that's good that's cool that 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 that's a good thing but to this extent it will never be good for you like it will never be good for you I said in the last discussion he's helped a lot of people with that light that light has radiated so so far and wide that he it has touched a lot of people but the shadow it casts on itself on on himself is what 
is what we should have been afraid of. That was some scary shit. That was some really scary shit. Like, to see a character like Nefropito who we have known to be this power, I mean, like, an absolute power, to the point that when that when he was, uh, when they were fighting uh, Netero as, at some point, <clears throat> he, was he was looking decent. Like, they were looking de decent. They're holding their own in a way, you know? I, I don't know if he would have he would have won the fight with Netero. He probably would have died because the king almost died. Um, but that's a, that's that's besides the point. Point being, to see a powerhouse that was that was strong enough to at least somewhat go toe to toe with Netero, and just get ragdolled, should tell you a lot about not just how strong he was in this situation. But how much he didn't give a fuck. And I, I, have, I have lived by this rule. Forever. And I will always live by this rule. There is no. There is nothing scarier than a nigga that just don't give a fuck. I don't care. Who you. I don't care what what you th what you think. But that nigga got a gun. Oh, no. Nah, that nigga live weights. No, nah, that, that nigga been training all his life. That, that nigga do taekwondo. There is nothing scarier in this world than a nigga that just don't give a fuck. And that right there is a nigga that just did not give a fuck. So they executed that perfectly. That was, that was fantastic. Having having like his his face be revealed as it's some monstrous thing, and even uh, having him like forcefully mature himself is it, is that's crazy. That's crazy. You know, I I I, I was saying that he had to grow up, but this literally. You know, is you know, it, it like I said, I don't want to beat a dead horse from like the last discussion, but like it, it, it's pretty much how how we how we said it would be. Moments like this force you to grow up. Moments like this force you to grow the fuck up. But if, but the type of person that you become is only is only depending on the type of person that you were maturing into Gon was not maturing into a great person I don't care how nice you thought he was he was not maturing into a into a well rounded adult he was maturing into a powerhouse that yeah that's definitely true he was a he was a nice guy but nice don't mean that you that you're good you know what I'm saying? There, there's a there's a fine line between just being a, a you know all around nice person and hiding that 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 darkness that that you use the 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 mask of being a nice person. You know to you get the point. You get the point. Scary shit. Scary shit. Uh, the fight itself was crazy. Um, like I said, uh, Neff for Peter was just getting ragged all the whole time. <clears throat> But the more interesting thing is, as everybody was talking about in this episode, is what this is going to cost. In the last discussion, one of the main points that I made is that in, in situations like this, the only, the, the biggest, the, one of the main people that get hurt in situations like this is yourself. So when people started talking about in this episode like oh shit he like what did it cost to get this much power yeah it, it, it's going to cost a lot uh as uh Pidu said he's probably not gonna be able to use his nin anymore he just gave all that up he just said fuck it like it, this is all i care about so i'm i'm just gonna i'm i'm just gonna use it all now so he's not going to he's, he's not going to be able to use that nin anymore which and he lost a fucking arm oh my god i didn't even think about that he lost a fucking arm 
He gonna have to be Edward Elric in this bitch. That's crazy. I knew I I totally forgot about that. Um, so he gave up a lot. And, and uh, what? Like I said, the interesting thing is is what what this power up with this fight actually meant, right? Which is that since he's going to lose it all. A lot of this story might be circling around, or at least the rest of it. Um, even though, I, uh, as far as like the anime goes, I don't think that there will be. There's not much left, actually, um, which is crazy to think. I think this show goes up to episode one forty something or one sixty, something like that. Uh, maybe. I almost don't want do I want to look do I want, no I'm not gonna look somebody just tell me uh, somebody just tell me uh, I'll, I'll just say um, that I think that this this show goes up to about one I, I want to say like 140 something um, from what I remember uh, from what I remember he um, is seeing like the episode count um, I think there it's like 140 uh, so the point being there's not a lot of anime left i know that, that there's still a manga and i think there's still like uh different manga uh chapters left and stuff like or not chapters uh arcs left i think there's multiple arcs left um but there's not a lot of anime left um and a lot of this a lot of this the rest of the story is going to be the climb back from from zero um what this is what the reason why I, I'm so fixated on what this fight meant is that it's it's the idea of that when you get into a situ like, situation like this and you have destroyed everything uh, that you've built up for yourself as as it should like as you as that should be the result of something like this simply saying I don't give a fuck anymore it shouldn't result in oh you get a power up and now you're back you know what i'm saying no you don't get to go back to your base form you lose everything like in real life simply saying i don't give a fuck means that you lose everything and you're gonna have to build it back up so in a in a show like this where as we've talked about it it, it it's it's trying to be very realistic in a in a in a fantasy world it's it's you know it, it makes sense that going basically saying i don't care anymore is going to take away everything from him and he's going to have to build all that up um so uh once again show being very based in real realism when it comes to consequences at least um putting going in a situation where he's going to have to he's going to have to work twice as hard um uh, a lot of this, a lot of the rest of this, uh, not episode, a lot of the rest of the show is going to be rehabilitation. Um, that's, that's just like, it, that, that may sound boring as fuck, but like, that's reality. That, that's what, at least for Gone, that's what this, this show is going to be. It's going to be rehabilitation. Now, um, luckily we do have other characters outside of Gone and, and we, you know, we've seen that in. And like Kurapika having his time to shine, Leorio having his time to shine, and Killua having his time to shine, and stuff like that. So you definitely could. The show definitely could like have a, a moment where it, it veers off of Gone and uh, goes goes to talk about like Kurapika out there do doing shit, uh, or Leorio out there getting his his doctorate or <laughs> some shit like that. Um, but Gon's out of the picture for a while, like that. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Gon is out of the picture for a while, um, and, and rightfully so. Um, however, in this situation, we we did at least get Killua, who seemed to at least somehow or some in some way get through to Gon, and you know let you know kind of just tr at least try to bring him back now it doesn't work it doesn't work as well as, as you as you'd want it to but 
it kind of got him out of it because he was just beating beating their face in he was just beating pito's face in and that that was that was the only thing on his mind to the point that when he lost his arm he's like it doesn't hurt in fact it, it's great like he, it, in a way, when he, when he's like, oh, you know, now I'm exactly like how Kite was in that in that moment. It's like he he's finishing the job for Kite as Kite. Like he 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 wants Kite to feel like he can he can move on in, in a way that that like the job's done, right? So, and, and not only that, it, it's it's a connection with once again what who we can assume is is a a father figure to go on, right? Um, it's it's that connection to this, to a father figure that that's you know gone now, um, so I, I I like the whole the whole thing of like him losing his arm being like doesn't even hurt actually it's great you know um, the the music I, real quick was uh, also fantastic in this episode um, having like the the somber piano in in the background of of this fight to the death um as it should be because this isn't a hype moment this is a very uh emotional and sad moment we're losing somebody to um a darkness that they that they harbored for a long time so it, it there you know while the transformation thing had like the operatic you know crazy crazy oh shit th this nigga evil type of music um at the core of it and the you know at the core of it is just a very sad kid um and the music reflected that perfectly in in the final moments of going beating Neferpedo's ass because it it's not it's not like it's not a monster it's like yes it looks like a monster um it it, it looks like a man but at the core of it it's just a very sad kid it's a, just a very sad and confused kid. Um, and once again, that's very real. Um, a lot of people are like that. Um, and this show does something interesting where it talks, it, it, it speaks on um, psychology and sociology in a way that like a shonen fan would understand. Um, it's that sounds very condescending <laughs> wait uh i mean that in a way that like it speaks on psychology and sociality in a way that like is yeah like a shonen like somebody who's watching a shonen would understand like that, that counts as me too right um is that like most people most people when they get to a point like this like and i'm talking about in like real life when you look at somebody and you're like that's a monster or that you know that that's just that that's a man like usually usually those at the core of those people it's just a very sad and confused kid same thing with going so the 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 piano the light piano of uh, very somber piano of, of playing the the outro music, um, and ha and seeing this this more grown up, <clears throat> matured form of gong um, juxtaposed with the music is is a great way to show that you know show without showing that that sad little boy that gong is confused that his father figure is gone and can't and won't come back. Um, it's just a it, it's it's a it's a big mix of, of negative emotions that he has been that's been welling up inside of him up until this point. Um, so it's it, great. It, it, it's a great way to show like it's a it's a fantastic way to show that um, they did a a great job with this episode i mean like I, I this is one of those episodes where i could go through each scene and tell you just how, how amazing each scene is um but i that you know you know 
uh, once again, the fight was amazing. Uh, seeing it, it was cathartic. I'm not gonna lie. Let, let let me say that real quick. Like 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 I've been I've been talking like I'm better th better than than most. That shit was cathartic to see. Um, to see going beat Nefropito's face in, yeah, that's cathartic. I liked seeing that. I enjoyed that. Um, Kai was my dog, and I that is something that I've been waiting for for a very long time. So yeah, that's very cathartic. But I can also uh, see how losing, like, it, it's not worth losing yourself for, over. It's just not worth losing yourself. It's not um, and hopefully this is a this is a lesson that Gon can learn as well and I think <clears throat> I think that's that's really what the show is trying to is trying to get at uh, get you know show us right or it's, it's what the show is trying to get at is that um, in a moment like this with with Gon you know with how Gon's been been trending like what Gon's been trending towards for the for the past like 130 episodes um and in this moment losing it all what's what's to come of it is a is an actual lesson um because he because luckily he's going to well I hope <laughs> um but I'm sure like you know he's the main character all that all that meta stuff he's going to survive this barely He's gonna survive. He's gonna survive himself barely. But the climb up from zero again is going to be a very important lesson in Gon's young life because he's still young. He's still young, of course, because this is a this is a shonen. Things are very flashy and crazy and emotional and all this other stuff. But he's still just a young kid that still needs to learn the lesson of when you when you when you take the when you take the, the the lego building that that you've been creating for the past 130 episodes and break all of it because you're angry you're gonna have to build it back up again nobody else is gonna well you people can help but it's uh but it's gonna be up to you to build that back up again it's going to be long treacherous and tiring but you will be a better person for it and uh you know in a lot of shonen we focus so much on how powerful somebody is you know most of us grew up on dragon ball z and stuff like that we don't really care how we don't really care about the emotional well-being of our characters and you know if you if you're like that then fine you know you don't have to care about the emotional well-being of your character you can watch shows like that there are plenty of those out there well they're they're there, there are shows out there like that, right? Um, but realistically, if you want to write a very good character, if you want to write a write an interesting character, the emotional maturity, and availability, and and de and development of your character should take the forefront. And in this situation, this is the best way to do it. Take away all their powers. You're 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 done. You, you got your ultimate power. But that's not the point of the show. The show is here to build your character. And this lesson is the best way to do it. So yes, take away all your powers. Sacrifice it if you want to. But this is going to be a very hard lesson that you're about to learn about what ha This is going to be your own, your own personal cautionary tale. This is what happens when you sacrifice it all. Now learn from it. Again, it's going to be hard. It's going to be treacherous. It's going to be tiresome. But you will become a better person because of it. So good on good on Tagashi for for having the 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 dick length to even do this, right? Um, you know, you want your character have to have your the rage moment, right? Um, it happens all the time in anime, especially in, in shonen. Um, you know, you have your character have the rage moment, but there should be, there should be back, there should be backlash for that. There should be consequences for, for sacrificing yourself. There should be, there should be consequences for losing yourself. 
Um, you know, not not to. I don't want to like just rag on on Dragon Ball Z, but like there have there are a bunch of moments in Dragon Ball Z where where Goku or somebody else loses themselves in rage and they're just back, you know after after they've they've curb stomped Frieza into the dirt, they're just back, you know and they're like okay it's me again. It's like no nah, bro, like when you loot like in re- realistically what Shonen is 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 basically like it's, it's like. <laughs> It's like PBS Kids to, to 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 young people. It's shonen. Like if you know what shonen is, you understand. Um, and and the idea of teaching young young people lessons is is the core of shonen. Uh, so when you have shows like <laughs> like Dragon Ball Z, where you can absolutely lose yourself, and nothing nothing of importance was lost that's not the like hopefully this isn't me grandstanding or it doesn't feel like me grandstanding but like that's not the best lesson this is a this is a perfectly good lesson if you lose yourself you're gonna have to rebuild it brick by brick piece by piece that's just that's just what's gonna have to happen it'll be hard it'll be it'll be frustrating and all that but that's what you're gonna have to do Once again, the good thing about this is that he'll live. Not only will he live, but he'll have somebody to help. There will be people to help him. And that's another that's another lesson that that is that is important in a situation like this. Right. Um, and. And that people will help. Killua will be there to help. You know, the people who who have been touched by your life will be there to help. Killua, Ikalgo, Kurapika, Leorio, uh Melareon, uh fucking fuck Knuckle, shoot, everybody else, you know, Palm, they will be there to help. But it will be it'll be your initiative that will help them help you so really really great um great lesson to be to be learned here um even in a in in a episode like this where um things are actually pretty pretty damn scary um you know uh i i once again really like uh, what this says about this arc in general that monsters are just confused like yes there there can be monsters out there but they have their reasons and they also can just be confused like like real quick uh Neferpedo was just being loyal like let, let's be real Neferpedo was, was just being loyal in, in the times that Neferpedo was being a fucking demon, that's just how they were. That's just how they they were born and raised. That's that's the life that they were born and raised in. Um. So while you know we could we could definitely say like, oh man, Neferpedo was evil as fuck. Um, Neferpedo was was just doing what they were, what they were born into. They were doing the duty that they were born into. I can't help. I can't. I can't hate on Never Beetle for being loyal. They're loyal as fuck. I. I. I if anything, I gotta respect that because it, vice versa. Gone can be can be seen as the monster here, but he's just a scared, a, a scared, lost, sad little child. He's confused. So it's, you know. Even in this situation, there's still that blurring of the lines. Uh, so th- this was this was very well written. Um, this this arc, uh, just this arc in general, has been very w- well written, um, and I, I cannot stress that enough. I am very very impressed by the way that Togashi has been able to write these characters and keep it keep it shonen enough to be 
shonen, but also have these incredibly deep lessons on psychology and sociology that people can to the point that people can still watch this and, and like gain something out of it you know uh so very very extremely smart writing extremely smart writing I, it, it's it's a it's a wonder that I, I never uh i never got into this into this show uh when i was when i was a kid um well the when i don't even think the show was airing when i was a kid um it was more i was watching this other shit i was like that you you can show that that's hard if anything every time i think about that that togashi wrote you you can show and then i watched and i watched this i'm like damn how's this nigga so good and i remember oh yeah he wrote you i can show and that shit was fucking fire so it makes sense togashi might be one of the only like mangakas that i i've I have knowledge of like multiple of their works and they were both fucking cookers. Um, so yeah, it, it makes, it, it doesn't make, you know, it makes perfect sense why uh, I watch this. I'm like, yo, this shit's good because this is like real quick. Everybody like everybody was watching like Dragon Ball and shit. You hockey shit was my shit when I was a kid. That was my shit. That, that shit taught you some good ass lessons. I, I, I love that shit. Um, so it makes sense that now that I'm older, I'm watching uh, Hunter Hunter. It's it it's giving me the same feeling. Uh, plus I, I was plus I was very I was very busy watching his wife stuff. <laughs> Sailor Moon was my shit too. Uh, now I think about it, that's a powerhouse ass family. Hold on, cold ass family. Sailor Moon, Yu Yu Hakusho, and Hunter Hunter, demonic, demonic. Um, but yeah, I love this love this um fantastic uh so with all that being said um if you haven't already subscribe like comment all the other stuff if you're just a lurker i appreciate you too if you have any requests whether it be more hunter hunter something totally different the best place to add in is all of my social media links going to be in the description below and if you want these episodes early subscribe to my patreon links going to be in the description for that as well um so we, oh we also have a discord if you want to talk more hunter or hunter or anything else if i haven't said that already um so with all that being said let me get my off button ready there it is you all stay amazing stay safe and take care of yourselves <laughs>